Hi everyone. Fucking hell. Hi everybody. Hi Dr. Nick. Hi guys. So today I've got a pretty busy day ahead of me. I'm heading into the gym to train a client or two and then I'm going to be heading out to breakfast which I want to show you guys how I track. Then later on today I'm actually getting put through a session with a very very strong girl and I think you guys would take a lot out of it. I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to show you guys some exercises that can loosen up your shoulders before you bench, before you low bar squat and also some activation exercises to make sure you're not getting any of that annoying uh, pain or discomfort at the front of your shoulders. So I'll show you guys that too. So we're in the office with Carl. Hello. Who's got an almond milk latte, I'm pretty sure. Don't judge. No, I don't. I, that's what I drink as well. They know all about it. Good. Cause... Almond milk latte is amazing. <laughs> Are you finally finished? Thanks, Sean. Hey. James. Hey, hey. And the very famous Oh, Matthew Bartholomew. No fame here. <laughs> you girls all have photos of him on your wall. I've seen him in real life. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Kathy, resident masseuse and all round hot chick. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her body. <laughs> so we're at breakfast at my very favourite um, cafe. I'm with Carl and he is currently reading my book. First draft, so quite nerve wracking. Anyway, I have ordered smashed avocado obviously because I'm basic and I'm a white girl. And when that comes out, I'll show it to you guys and then I'm going to show you how I would log it and estimate it. So we've got maybe a hundred grams of avocado there, eggs, toast, mushrooms. Carl's killing it with like half an avocado as well. Looks good. I've also got a coffee, which is almond milk, naturally. It's a pretty big meal, guys. Rear delt exercise. Rear delt. 
out there. As you're pulling, you want to be thinking about those rear delts. You're not pulling up ways to use the trap, you're pulling out and down. You want to get rhomboid involved in this one too. Last exercise. Yep, same resistance band around the pole. Grab the band, underhand, pull out and up to the face. Again, you want to use some trap, but it's not a good trap exercise exclusively. So you want to pull it just pull it sterner. exercises that I do for my bench press. You want to ensure that your scapular muscles, your rear delts and your shoulders are well warmed up and mobile. So three top exercises that I would use um, are as follows. So you want to get a thin band, um, hold it so it's nice and taut. You want to go through shoulder retraction, okay, so pull your shoulders back and then pull back through rear delts. And I like to do about 10 reps like this, holding my shoulders back the whole time. Coming back, bring your shoulders forward again, and then retracting again, and going through that process kind of three or four times. And what you want to get is the musculature kind of back here to be really warming up, and you're actually avoiding putting too much stress through that mid back because inevitably later in your warm up, you're going to be able to warm up that area. It's the rear delts that you really want to warm up in this process. Uh, the second exercise that I like to use, and again using the same band, is I go up overhead. I come around the back and up to the top again, pulling down, just like this. And it should be nice and easy. And what this does for me is it warms up my lats and it helps with the range of motion to my shoulders as well. Um, third exercise that I like to do is called a scat push up. Um, now, this is frequently done pretty wrong. Um, I do it on the floor and I do the most repressed version. So, pop down on the floor, on the knees. Okay, it's going to be right under the shoulders. And what we're looking for is my scapula winging. So after I start, maybe go from the top view as well. Looking for retraction. And full protraction. Retraction. Full protraction. Retraction. Like what you don't want to do is go into that full kind of thoracic flexion. We're looking for your shoulder blades to be doing the work. And we also don't want to see a lot of kind of lumbar movement at the same time. We want you to isolate through your shoulder blades and keep those arms locked. That's going to teach you your bench scapular control and differentiation between bending through the elbow and coming forward and backwards through your scaps. Three good exercises there for you guys to do. They are my absolute go-to. So good luck with your benches, guys. Bit of a location change here. I headed into a gym nearby to meet with a friend of mine who is going to take me through an amazing session that very nearly kills me. Burning down the walls, we let them. I'm Mickey, I'm from Canberra. I am the owner of Functional Fitness Australia. We have two gyms uh, located in Canberra. We're a functional training facility. We make sure that our training philosophy is based around functional movement. So we train the body the way it was designed to move. So that's through full range of movement and making sure that all the movements are applicable to your life outside of the gym. My personal training philosophy is I use the gym to strengthen not only the physical body, but the mind as well. So the workout that I'm going to take back through today definitely does that. We're going to start with some pull-ups, some weighted pull-ups. Uh, and then move through some front squats and back squat and some sled work and then finish up with pull-ups just to make sure that your body Are you finishing is... with pull-ups? Push-ups. Oh, push-ups. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, fine. Yeah. The, she sent me the workout but it got cut off at the bottom. So oh, I just no. Wanted, just wanted to clarify. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sweet. Yeah, cool. Um, are we starting with a weight? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, we start with weight. So now 
Can you tell me when you want to We started with weighted wide grip chin ups. Basically, the idea was to go until we failed and then drop the weight and keep going with just our body weight. So, not something I would usually do. I felt like I killed it mid set. And then I stopped and Miss had a go, and I realized that actually I suck and she's amazing. Steps of your porch, then I reflected on the memories, but I put out that torch. Hey! After three sets of the chin ups, we moved on to this overhead hold, which I seriously underestimated. I've got two and a half kilos in both hands at full lockout, and we held this for 30 seconds. Didn't think it was going to be hard, but you can probably tell from my facials here that it was pretty difficult. of our 1RM for two reps. We then went straight into a back squat for two reps at the same weight. And then we made our way over to the sled, which we did a sprint with for 20 meters. Cardiovascular fitness and strength. I'm not even to you. Drive, drive. Five push ups every 30 seconds. seconds. So, catch is you do five push ups. Yep. Remaining no. time is sit like this. Yes, yes. And I'm going to be poking and squeezing. And no, no, I'm not squeezing anything. I'm going to be poking. Make sure you guys are squeezing stuff. Can you say that? Say that. I wasn't there. 
A lot of people talk about work-life balance and that is in regards to training as well. I'm a big believer in work-life training integration. So it's all one thing. Uh, you can't just put your work, your training and your life in the three separate categories. They all impact each other and so you need to treat it as respect like that. So if your training that you do inside the gym isn't positively impacting your time outside of the gym, then what's the fucking point? Yeah.